Hello people, my name is Olubumi and I'm a blockchain enthusiast. In this medium will be used to discuss blockchain technology, cryptocurrency, decentralized finance, also called DeFi, and everything in between. So let's start off with an interesting update coming out of Nigeria. And this one signifies exciting times ahead if you are in the blockchain space. And even more interesting if you are looking to be part of the space. Let's talk about the national blockchain policy. What exactly is this policy and how can you take advantage of it? On 16th May 2023, the federal government of Nigeria, through the Federal Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy, launched the National Blockchain Policy. This document can be described as a successful and modern achievement for the Nigerian economy, and it also shows the government's trust in the blockchain ecosystem. It reiterates the government's commitment to be able to create an economy driven by digital technologies. The policy will enable the nation to harness the full potential of blockchain and also position it as a leader in the global blockchain ecosystem. It also means that Nigeria joins the edit list of countries that have adopted blockchain technology. The countries include Estonia, Georgia, United Arab Emirates, Switzerland, and Singapore. This particular policy has identified certain key areas important to achieving its goal. Let's take a look at them. The number one is talent development, which provides that the government will collaborate with relevant partners to develop capacity building initiatives which will enhance the skills and knowledge of blockchain professionals. Remember that I said that these are very, very interesting times. This is a good time to join the space if you are still thinking about it. The second area is innovation, which provides that the government will support research and development in the blockchain industry. And this is going to help entrepreneurs and researchers develop innovative blockchain solutions that can be used across different sectors. Under this also, the government is committing itself to creating regulatory sandboxes where blockchain startups can test their innovative ideas without being subject to stringent regulations. <laughs> this is a very big one, trust me. The third area is adoption, and this is where the major deal is. This one provides that the government will establish a regulatory framework that enables integration of blockchain technology into the financial system. Yes, you heard that right. However, this is going to ensure protection of consumers and the stability of the financial system. The government will also support the development of blockchain through providing funding and incentives to innovators and startups in the fintech sector. I told you, this is a great time to join this space. Blockchain will also be applied to identity management. Implementing a blockchain-based identity management system means that we will be creating a more secure and reliable system for online identity verification and authentication. If you are in Nigeria, you know how important this is. If you also didn't know, Blockchain can be used to store land registration and records data. The policy provides that Nigeria is looking to create a blockchain-based land registry, which would ensure that no single party can manipulate records data. If you're in real estate, I'm sure that you understand this. I know someone might also be thinking, okay, okay, so why do we really need blockchain? Apart from the significant contribution to a country's economy, it comes with improved transparency and accountability, improved efficiency or increased efficiency, enhanced security, financial inclusion, which is something that we've been chasing for a very long time here in Nigeria, and job creation, of course. In conclusion, the policy aims to grow domestic talent in blockchain solutions development, foster innovation, and also catalyze the adoption and use of blockchain technology in Nigeria, which is one of the biggest economies, if not the biggest economies in Africa. So you know that this can have resultant effects on the continent as a whole. I hope you've been able to learn a few things about the relevance of the national blockchain policy and you are more resolute to learn about blockchain technology because that's what we'll be doing here. If you have any questions or comments or additions, please feel free to reach out. Look out for more content on the basics of blockchain technology, cryptocurrency and decentralized finance. And remember to connect on LinkedIn and other social media platforms so you don't miss a thing. Bye guys.